Anyway, like I was saying, we're famous because of a lady called Diane Fossey. She used to hang out with my family to study them. This is her with Puck, my great-grandmother, one of the coolest gorillas of all time. Mom says it was a dangerous time to be a gorilla back then. There were so many poachers and a lot of gorillas got hurt or killed by traps called snares. Mom gorillas almost went extinct. But luckily, Dr. Fossey helped change everything in the forest. We don't have to worry about that stuff these days. And the forest is just plain awesome. Listen to all those bugs and birds. Do you feel it? All the life in this place? <sighs> we can play in it for hours and hours every day. This place went to the jungle and jungle gym. <laughs> Wrestling around isn't just for fun and exercise, though. It's how we make friendships that last us our whole entire lives. The best part about this place is that food is never far away. So when we're hungry, we just eat the playground. <laughs> I like my snacks with a view. Up here, I feel like I'm the king of the world. But I will say getting up here is not that easy. The volcano is pretty steep, but we like climbing all the way to the top. It's where we get the most amazing views ever. My big brother is being kind of a bully lately, which is pretty normal for growing black bat gorilla boys. He's stronger than me and always trying to prove himself. Ugh. It's pretty annoying. And my mom's obsession with our new baby sister is not helping things. When they're raising babies, moms don't have much time for anything or anyone else. It's a full-time job but my brother just can't deal with the lack of attention. What he doesn't know is that he's on thin ice with dad. If he keeps this up, he'll be regretting it soon. <laughs> Dad's got a big heart, but he takes zero nonsense. You'll see what I mean in three, two, one. Oh, ouch. Ha, just as it lasts. That's 180 kilograms of discipline, you big bully. <laughs> Let's get an instant replay of that in slow motion. Bam! And he's down for the count. <laughs> Get your Aussie. As you saw, he's the family's dominant silverback. Silverbacks are the older guys in the group, our leaders and protectors. Mom says I shouldn't brag, but we have four in our group. And one day, I'm gonna be one too. Oh, did you hear that? When dad beats his chest after nap time, we gotta get moving. The whole group packs up the picnic and falls in line. It's not very democratic, but it works. <laughs> the forest is really dense, and there's stinging metal everywhere. But I don't even feel them, because we gorillas have super thick hair to protect us. Besides, Dad does most of the hard work knocking all the big plants down to make moving around easier for the rest of us. Baby gorillas can't move as fast as big gorillas, so we get carried by our parents or older siblings. We can even eat and sleep on piggyback. You should try it, it's the best. <laughs> My sister's eight months old now. She's getting braver and braver and starting to explore away from mom. Other family members love to babysit, as you can see, giving my mom a well-deserved break. Moms, am I right? We've got a pretty cool situation right now, 
around the group. My older sister is raising her own baby at the same time as my mom. Okay. Guess that makes me the group's youngest uncle. <laughs> Speaking of uncles, did you notice old grumpy pants on the right? He seems really serious, but he's actually very sweet. He plays with me all the time. You know what they say, don't judge a gorilla by its glare. Ugh, after showing you around, I'm feeling pretty sleepy. Ooh, it's about that time of day where we all start napping. Sounds good to me. By now, I hope you've seen that family is everything to a gorilla, and I'm so glad you got to meet mine. One day soon, maybe we'll get to see you up on this volcano for real. Okay, bye. Bye. Aww.